Friday, y'all. It is a chilly one here in South Texas. So I am headed into Walmart to stay warm as well as knock out a few Ibotta rebates. I'll also be scouting out the clearance as a lot of departments are marking down items. So come along with me and let's see what we score. Let's start this haul off with a hot moneymaker on Shopkick. Now this is going to be a bundle deal, so you must buy both items in order to receive the bundle bonus kicks. So for the first item, you're gonna look for this Vaseline Lip Therapy. You wanna grab one that is 97 cents. So that is the first item in this bundle. Next, locate this Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner in the hair care aisle. It is $2.97. And something I'm going to note, y'all, this nor the lip balm will scan on Shopkick as a match for the offer, but they both do work. So when you combine this Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner plus the lip balm, you are going to pay $3.94 out of pocket. But the Shopkick offer is for 1,380 kicks, which is equivalent to $5.52. So when you pay that $3.94 out of pocket, get back that $5.52 on Ibotta. This makes it a $1.58 moneymaker. So this is the first store that I have seen such huge markdowns and so many markdowns on makeup. This Almay foundation here, most of these are just $2.75 down from $10.98. In this past weekend's inserts, we got $4 paper coupons, which is going to make this free, plus give me $1.25 in overage to apply to the remainder of my cart. Here is another markdown on Almay products. This time it was for an eye product. This Almay Really Real Brows was marked down to $1.98 from $5.83. This past weekend, we got a coupon for $3 off of one, making this free and giving me another dollar and two cent overage to apply to the remainder of my cart. Now let's jump over to the Revlon makeup. Again, a ton of markdowns, y'all. Every lipstick here was on clearance. So I grabbed the cheapest one that I could find. There are some for $1.74. In last weekend's inserts, we got a $3 off one paper coupon. So that is going to give me $1.26 in overage to apply to the remainder of my cart. So I'm going to grab two. I'm going to use one paper coupon, and then I'm going to take my receipt and submit it to coupons.com where I'm going to get back another $3 for the other one for another $1.26 in extra cash to put towards my final net total. Here is some Revlon foundation that was marked down. I went with the cheapest one. That was $2.24. And just like the lip products, I used one paper coupon to get $1.76 in overage in store. Walmart does allow overage. And then I also submitted my receipt to coupons.com for the other one to get an additional $4, making that a $1.76 moneymaker as well. The last clearance makeup products that I grabbed were these Revlon eyebrow pencils. I grabbed the cheapest ones at $1.74. We have $3 off one paper coupons that were in this past weekend's inserts. So again, I got $1.26 in overage in store and made $1.26 also when I submitted the second one for a rebate on coupons.com. As I mentioned in the start of the video, y'all, a ton of stuff is being marked down store wide. So it is always best to check every department and see if you can match any of your coupons to the clearance prices. So this Cantu All Natural Blend, this one right here specifically was marked down to $4.72. As you can see, there are different ones. So be sure to scan to see which one is the cheapest. So that one right there was the cheapest at $4.72. On Shopkick, you can get back a thousand kicks when you purchase this, plus 30 kicks just for scanning the product, which makes this just 60 cents after the rebate. Let's head over to the feminine care aisle now and do a couple of deals. For the first one, you want to grab two of these U by Kotex Cleanwear 16 count pads. They're $3.84 each, so that is a total of $7.68 
We have a $4 off two paper coupon that we got in last weekend's inserts. So that's going to leave us to pay $3.68 out of pocket. Then we're going to take our receipt and submit it to Ibotta where we're going to get back $2 for each box, making these free and a 32 cent money maker. Now, if you don't have the paper coupon, you can also submit your receipt to coupons.com as well and get $4 back for buying the two boxes. Next, grab two boxes of the One by Poise 50 count liners. They are $5.46 each, so that's going to make both $10.92. You're going to go ahead and pay that out of pocket because the $5 off two paper coupon that we got in last weekend's inserts did not scan, but that's okay. So you're going to pay $10.92, submit your receipt to coupons.com and get $5 back for buying two, and then also submit your receipt to Fetch Rewards for 5,000 points or $5 on one one box so that's going to make your final net total just 92 cents for both boxes let's do a few easy ibotta deals for this first one you want to grab two of these big wideouts they are 97 cents each so that's going to leave you to pay a dollar and 94 cents out of pocket then you're going to take your receipt and upload it to ibotta where you're going to get back two dollars when you buy two so that's going to make both free and just a tiny money maker Another super simple deal that you can do on Ibotta, you want to look for the 47 cent Valentine's Day cards. You can grab any one of them. This store only just had this one. So I grabbed this one at 47 cents and submitted my receipt to Ibotta where I had an any offer for a card for 10 cents. So that made my final net total for this card just 37 cents. Another any offer deal that I did using Ibotta, I grabbed one thing of these ramen noodles. They are just 20 cents a pack. I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for 10 cents a pack, which made this 50% off, y'all. So I only paid 10 cents for a pack of ramen. Up in the checkout lanes, I found these Airheads Bluest Raspberry Strips. It says they're $1.46, but they are actually scanning for $1.54. You're going to pay that out of pocket and then submit your receipt to Shopkick, where you're going to get back a total of $1.70 between scanning the product and submitting your receipt. So that's going to make this free and a $0.16 cent money maker. I'm going to mention one last deal for this haul. I was unfortunately not able to do it as this store was out of stock, but you want to grab two of the Splenda Zero Stevias. That great value is not in the right place. The Splenda Zero Stevia is what you want to grab. It is $3.48. You want to grab two, which makes your total $6.96. But we have a $4 off to paper coupon from this past weekend's inserts. So that's gonna bring your total down to $2.96. But then you're gonna take your receipt and upload it to Ibotta for $2 for each one, making this a dollar and four cent money maker. All right, y'all, let's recap this haul and let's start with how it went at checkout first though. So it is Walmart and I had a ton of paper coupons. So I was super nervous going to checkout. But for the most part, all of my coupons scanned except the five off of two poise. That did not scan, unfortunately. But everything else came off no problem whatsoever. And so that left me to pay $26.58 out of pocket for all 20 items. So now let's talk rebates. Let's start with Ibotta. I got a total of $6.20 back on Ibotta and knocked out four rebates. On Ibotta, the big bulk of that was the Kotex. It was $2 for each one for a total of $4. We did the 10 cent any soup offer and the 10 cent any card offer. And then finally, we did the big whiteout for $2 back when we bought two. So again, a total of $6.20 for all of that back. Next, I submitted my receipt to coupons.com. It is still processing, so I have not been credited for that yet, but all items did scan as a match. So since the Poise paper coupon did not work in store, I ended up submitting my receipt to coupons.com as well for the $5 back when I buy two, and that did scan. So $5 back for the Poise, $4 back for the Revlon face product that I did not use a coupon on, 
three dollars back for the revlon eye product that i didn't use a coupon on and three dollars back for the revlon lip product that i did not use a coupon for so a total of fifteen dollars is coming my way on coupons.com the next rebate app that I submitted my receipt to was Fetch Rewards, and it was kind of very simple on there. We only redeemed one offer, and that was for $5,000 back on those poise liners that we purchased. So 5,000 points in total back on Fetch Rewards, or $5. Finally, we have Shopkick, and surprisingly, my receipt went through really quickly. At checkout, I ended up doing two transactions, and I put all of my Shopkick offers on a separate receipt, and that's probably why it was able to process so quickly. So keep that in mind if you do plan on doing any of these offers that may help your receipt go through fast um, but I got back 2,780 kicks which is equivalent to about $11.34 when you add that plus my in-store scan kicks for the Cantu and the Airheads so a total of $11.34 back on Shopkick all right, y'all, final net total. I'm super stoked. This was a great haul leading into the weekend, but I was able to score everything for free in a $10.96 moneymaker. So basically $11. That is insane. I'm so pumped and on such a coupon high right now. Uh, I love it. That wraps up my Walmart haul for today, y'all. If you had fun shopping with me, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.